Hello and welcome to another Corelda tutorial. And actually this is not going to be a tutorial, it's going to be more of a demo. And I'm going to be showing uh, one of Corel's nicest features which is called Mesh Fill. Now one of the um, challenges of vector drawing is that each drawing is usually made up of a very small uh, number of simple shapes. You know, it's if, if you want to show detail then drawing many many little shapes and editing them is not always feasible. And the Mesh Fill tool is a tool that lets us take a basic shape and add lots of detail to it using fine-tuned gradients. So we have a circle here and I've selected it and now I'm going to click the Mesh Fill tool. And you see I get a little grid. Okay, Right now it's a 2x2. Two two. I can change it either using uh, this little combo box here or I can just click if I want to add a specific uh, segment somewhere that's a bit much okay let's yeah let's go back to this level of detail and now I can simply drag a color out of my palette onto any of the parts of this grid and you see what it does let's say let's, I don't want to do that oops sorry I don't want to do that good and it basically fills that part of the grid with that color but in a very smooth gradient way and there we go, maybe we can make this a little bit lighter. You can edit the actual color of each and every um, part on its own. I'd like to make it just a little bit brighter. And what's interesting is that you can also edit the transparency of each part of the mesh itself. You see here I'm making this more transparent. And so this is a very, very basic demo. I mean, you can see after I'm done with the circle, it's just an interesting little gradient. But you can go very far. And just to show you, I'm going to switch to the wireframe view here. So you can just see the actual vector shapes and switch to a ready-made file. This is uh, a file that Coral supplies and it's made by uh, Ariel Garza Diaz. I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. This is the artist who made this. And as you can see, vector-wise, this is a very simple file. I mean, this uh, bird here is just one, two, three, four, I don't know, like 10 vector objects or so. But when we switch to the enhanced view to see the actual color, you can see how much work has been done here with this uh, mesh fill tool and it really brings out the detail and the image and just to show you what it looks like here's the actual mesh used here so you can see and these segments are blended with the background so that gives the wing a very soft appearance and this is a very very high level of, uh, of use of this tool. This is not something I could do, but it was important for me to bring this into the demo so you could see how far this tool can get you. Thank you for watching.